This is a CBS News Detroit update. Good morning, I'm Chris Ledeen. Here's all your top headlines on this Monday, May 13th. On your block in Novi, where a small plane has crashed into a wooded area. It happened Sunday night around 6.30 near Cambridge Drive, just north of 8 Mile. The 71-year-old pilot was trying to make an emergency landing at the time. He was the only person inside the antique-style aircraft. He is expected to be okay. No one else was hurt. The FAA is looking into the crash. On your block in Oakland County, where home break-ins will be the topic of discussion at a town hall meeting tonight. It's being hosted by Oakland County Sheriff Mike Bouchard. It comes as several high-end homes have been broken into over the past year. We've profiled these neighborhoods in several stories since last year. The sheriff says the break-ins are the work of crime rings from South America. The town hall is being held at Christ Church Cranbrook in Bloomfield Hills. It starts at 7 this evening. Experts will be on hand to answer questions and to help you burglar-proof your home. It is open to the public, but you have to RSVP by sending an email to OCSO at OGov.com. The bad luck continues for the Detroit Pistons. After notching their worst season record in franchise history, they got the worst possible outcome in this weekend's draft lottery. Instead of getting the number one pick in this summer's draft, they fell to the number five spot. It's the second year in a row that the Pistons have had the worst league record, but have gotten the fifth pick in the draft. The Atlanta Hawks won the first pick. A new rule limiting excessive credit card late fees has been put on hold. It was supposed to take effect tomorrow, but a federal judge is temporarily blocking it. Under the guidelines, the government wanted to ban credit card late fees of more than $8 a month. But bank lobbyists challenged the legality of the cap in a lawsuit saying the policy is unconstitutional. You'll be paying more for gas this week. Prices are up four cents from last week to a statewide average of 364 per gallon. The average in Metro Detroit is a bit less at 359 per gallon. Nationally, people are paying 362. Right now, let's get a look at that next weather forecast. Good morning, Troy. Good morning, Chris, and welcome back. We are in for a lot of sunshine today. A nice day compared to yesterday, pretty much the same at times, although we'll see a few additional clouds late in the day and a chance for a couple of showers coming in late in the afternoon, mainly north of the Detroit Metro, a high of 81 degrees today. So here is future cast and watch the clock as we take you through the afternoon. Again, a couple of clouds, but plenty of sunshine to enjoy to help to warm us into the 80s area wide or at least close Close to 80 depending on where you are and then by 4 this afternoon you'll see a couple of these additional clouds and one or two showers north of the area into the thumb and so that's going to be part of the region where we'll see a chance for a couple of showers more rain though tomorrow as we increase those rain chances to 70 percent through tomorrow afternoon so enjoy today because tomorrow the rain will come in we'll have a little bit of a cool down because of the added rain through the afternoon tomorrow and for the next couple of days. But here are the highs for today on your block. We take it to temperatures near 80. Blissfield up to 80 today. Tecumseh today, 79. Dundee getting up to a high of 80 degrees. Canton, 80. South Lyon, 79. Livonia getting up to a high of 82 degrees, even in some of our northern zones close to that with a few of those scattered showers late in the day. Troy getting up to a high of 82 degrees. Speaker today up to 79 and 79 in Sandusky. The next seven days shape up like this. Tomorrow a little cooler. After day, today's high of 81, we're getting up to 66 with that 70% coverage of rain. Then Wednesday and Thursday looking good and dry with a good mix of sun and clouds. A high of 70 on Wednesday, 73 Thursday. And then Chris, rain chances do return Friday on into Saturday and Sunday. Back to you. Thanks for that, Troy. That's a look at your headlines. We'll be back later covering stories that matter to you on air and streaming on the CBS News app and Pluto TV.